Fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, first, we'd like to have Ms. Uh, Chaplain Santushi come up and give a prayer to open the uh, ceremonies. Good morning to all the boys and girls. Happy morning to all of you and to your teachers as well and to the minister and to our chief. Let's have a word of prayer as we pray on behalf of this special week. Father, we indeed thankful for Fire Prevention Week, a week of which we can come aside, reflect upon, and move forward with better ways of how we can best protect our homes, families, and also our businesses. We ask your blessings upon this morning's service and upon this week we pray in your name. Amen. Amen. Now today we have some celebrities in our attendance. We have Minister Keynes here, who's going to come up and give a, a word. And we have Ms. Finiski from Eminent uh, Services. Uh, Ms. Keynes, could you come up and give a speech, please? Good morning, boys and girls. Good, good to see everyone here. I'm always excited to come to Fire Prevention Week. This is a week where you learn from some of our leaders in our country on how to make your homes, your schools, and everything safe. You're in for a fantastic treat. We have some really cool things to show you. So just ask you to sit back and have your ears open to, because we're going to have some beautiful stuff to show you this morning. To the Chief, thank you for the opportunity to open uh, the Fire Week again. This year it's indeed a privilege. If you'll grant me the privilege, I'd like to read to you the proclamation. The proclamation, Fire Services, Fire Safety Awareness Week, October 7th through 11th, 2019. Whereas public safety is a top priority in the islands of Bermuda, and safety from fire is important to our citizens and to local firefighters who put their lives on the line with every response to fire. And whereas the residents of Bermuda are encouraged to take action to prevent fires and to protect themselves when fire strikes. Whereas public awareness of simple fire safety practices such as having a home fire escape plan, installing and maintaining smoke alarms through our homes and buildings and regular fire drills. This can help reduce risks and death and injury. Whereas Bermuda joins the National Fire Protection Association as Fire, Safetis, Fire Safety Awareness Week and the theme, not every hero bears a cape. Plan and practice your escape. And it is observed across North America and the United Kingdom. Therefore, therefore I, the Honorable Wayne Michael Keynes, JPMP, Minister of National Security, do call upon the people of Bermuda to observe the theme, not every hero wears a cape, plan and practice your escape. And I hear Dubai proclaim the week October 7th through 11th, 2019 as Fire Safety Awareness Week in Bermuda and in witness of is signed by me the 7th day of October in the year of our Lord, 2019. Now we'd like to welcome our Chief Fire Officer, Mr. Lloyd Barcher, to say a few words. Good morning. Good morning. My fellow colleagues, Minister, Minister, Ms. Uh, Representative from Amblin. Um, today, ah, I always forget I have to adjust this. Uh, the minister's a little bit taller than I am. Um, again, Fire Prevention Week. This is a week that the fire service enjoys the company of you young boys and girls. Historically, the mission of the fire department is to educate its community. One of the ways that we actually do this is through you young people that attend Fire Prevention Week. Because of your excitement when you go home and you take the message of the Fire Prevention Week fire safety announcements to your parents that we are able to spread the word. So let me thank you for that in advance. How many of you will run home and tell your mothers and fathers and your relatives about Fire Prevention Week? Just that, not all? I, I want everybody's hand up. I'm going here to tell my parents. Fantastic. Who knows the number to call when there's an emergency? 911, exactly. Fantastic again. Today, we're going to 
establish the theme. Not every hero wears a cape, plan and practice your escape. Hero is a word that has recently been overused. It has been automatically bestowed upon our uniformed essential services. Like police officers, soldiers, and especially firefighters and EMTs, a hero does not require wearing a uniform. Being involved in such professions listed above or wear a cape like Superman. <laughs> no, there's not one there. However, there's no, also no capes on your backs. But we can all be Superman. We can all be that person that helps in an emergency by following our escape plans. How many of us here have an escape plan at home? Okay, this side does and this side doesn't. <laughs> This year, we are celebrating heroes of all ages who learn about the home fire escape planning and practice, bring the information home, and spur their families to action. From young students who learn about the campaign at school to parents who attend a community event like Fire Safety Awareness Week, all of them truly are heroes because they're taking steps to make their households much, much safer from fire. Not every hero wears a cape. Plan and practice your escape. Also focuses on what a home escape plan entails and the value of practicing it. These messages are more important than ever, particularly because today's homes burn faster than ever. People tend to underestimate their risk to fire, particularly at home. They are overconfident this lends itself to a complacency toward home escape planning and practice. But in a fire situation, we've seen time and again that advanced planning can make a potentially life-saving difference. Home fire escape planning and practice home fire escape planning and drills are an essential part of fire safety. A home fire escape plan needs to be developed and practiced before fire strikes. Home fire escape planning should include the following. Drawing a map of each level of the home, showing all doors and windows, going to each room and pointing to the two ways out, making sure someone will help children, older adults, and people with disabilities wake up and get out. Take, uh, teaching children how to escape on their own in case you cannot help them. Establishing a meeting place outside and away from their home where everyone can meet after ex exiting. Having properly installed and maintained smoke alarms. Home, escape, um, home fire escape practice should include the following. Pushing the smoke alarm button to start the drill. Practice what to do in case there is smoke Get low and go. Get out fast. Practicing using different ways out and closing doors behind you as you leave. Never going back for people, pets, or things. Going to your outdoor meeting place. How many of us have an outdoor meeting place? Yes, again, this side wins. This side's got to catch up. Maybe after today, uh, with some time with Curtis, um, this site will be more involved and knowledgeable about some of the things they need to know about. How many of us here know where the smoke extinguisher is or located in your house? Wow. Again, this side wins. Maybe we should mix you guys up <laughs> so that we can get better um, response or transfer of information. I'm now going to talk to you about heating. As we are entering our winter months, heating equipment is one of the leading causes of home fires during the winter months. Space heaters are the type of equipment most often involved in, in home heating equipment fires. All heaters need space. Keep anything that can burn at least three feet or one meter away from heating equipment. Have a three foot or one meter kit-free zone open 
fires and space heaters, from open fires and space heaters. Purchase and use only portable space heaters listed by a qualified testing laboratory. Have a qualified professional install heating equipment. Maintain heating equipment and chimneys by having them cleaned and inspected by a qualified pro professional at least once a year. Now I know the kids, young boys and girls, want to see the presentation, which will be led by uh, Mr. Curtis. How many people have seen Curtis before? Again, just, just scientists, really. I don't know what's happening over here. Um, and again, um, the show by Curtis, which the background would indicate that you're in for a wonderful show. Um, Curtis is retired. Um, from the fire service, but he has a, a vast amount of knowledge. Um, so I, I would ask you to pay particular attention because Curtis is getting older, and you're going to see that. He's, he's not as sharp as he used to be, um, but um, we shall see. What I will ask you to do is after the show, you clap or, or, or put up your hand if you have found this to be an informative and Curtis to be back hopefully, to where he was um, on the last show. Agreed? Yes. Uh, let's have a, a little applause for Curtis. Good morning, boys and girls. Oh, my gracious, everyone sounds a little tired this morning. Let's try that again. Good morning, boys and girls. Good morning. All right, you're doing really good. We're going to do that one more time. This time, I want the people way right down on Front Street to hear you. Good morning, boys and girls. That's the way we like it here at the Bermuda Fire and Rescue Service. And we want to welcome you to the Bermuda Fire and Rescue Service Fire Safety Awareness Week show. Now, boys and girls, we have our special friend, Curtis, that has a special treat for you this year. I think Curtis has been messing around with some science or something like that. But I'm not sure if he knows what he's doing. So I'm going to ask you, boys and girls, to keep an eye out for what Curtis is doing. Can you do that for me? Yeah. Are you sure? You're absolutely positive? Yeah! All right, but I'm going to have our friend Curtis come out just in just a second. So, boys and girls, don't forget, if you see him doing anything wrong, you let us know, okay? All right? All right, but let's scream and shout one more time, and let's welcome to the stage our friend Curtis! Boys and girls. Good morning. Excuse me, this child is just having his breakfast. No. Good morning. 
all our distinguished guests here this morning. How, are, how is everybody feeling today? Good. I can't hear you. Good. That's all right. I like this side over here. How's everybody feeling on this side? Good. All right. Now, as you can see, boys and girls, Curtis has something special planned for you today. Would you like to know what that is? Yeah. Would you like to know what it is? Yeah. Okay, now, as you can see, behind me, Curtis has created a time machine. Do you know what that is, boys and girls? Yes. Let's try it over this side here. Curtis has created a time machine. So we have got to go back to the beginning. We have got to go back to the beginning. You guys want to travel back in time with Curtis? Yes. Yeah. Do you guys want to travel back in time with Curtis? Yes. Okay, but first, we need to test it, because Curtis hasn't tested the machine yet. He's built it, but he hasn't tested it. Now, we need a volunteer to Minister Cairns. Minister Cairns has volunteered to travel back in time, boys and girls. You want to see that? Yeah, do you want to see that? Yeah! All right. Give him a round of applause. Let Minister Ken come up on stage here. Beautiful. Welcome, my friend. Welcome. And you look so sharp today. They say real men can wear pink. I like that. <laughs> now, Minister Cairns, let me ask you, have you ever traveled back in time before? No, Curtis. You have not. Okay, so this is his first time, boys and girls, okay? So this is our time machine, Minister Keynes, right? And what I'm going to do, we're going to walk over to here. I'm going to ask you to step inside. Now remember, we haven't done this before, boys and girls. <laughs> Minister Keynes is not scared at all, boys and girls, okay? Okay, Minister Keynes, let's, let's uh, hang on one sec. Let me... I have a little bit of fuel over here for, my, for, the, uh, for the time machine. Yes, indeed. Let me just fuel it up here. Fuel it up. There we go. We're going to have to make some more of that later. That's why you, you see I got my chemistry lab here. We're going to make some more fuel later. Don't you panic. Now, Minister Kent, now that we're all fueled up, let me turn it on. All right. Now, yes, whoa. <laughs> now, Minister Kent, if you would step this way. Let me open the door here. And it programs itself. All right. All right, now, we need another volunteer. Let's see. Let's see here. Yes, young man, you come. You come here. Give him a round of applause, boys and girls. Come right up on stage. What's your name? Huh? Gus. His name is Gus, boys and girls. Gus. I'm glad you volunteered today. Because we haven't tested this time machine, Curtis needs somebody else to take the blame in case we lose the minister. Okay? So, Kurt, um, Gus. Gus? You okay? Okay. You sure? Okay. Now, Gus, if you lose the minister, can your parents afford to pay to replace him? You don't know? No, you're not sure? Okay, well, we're going to take a chance, Gus, okay? 
So this is the button that's going to send the minister into the past, boys and girls, okay? So on three, we're going to hit this button, okay? Oh, you're going to hit this button, okay? Yeah? Yes? Okay. You hear God? You, you had your readers this morning? No. Okay, he hasn't had his readers this morning. So now, let's see. On the count of three... One, get ready, ready, hit, hit the button. One, two, three. Oh dear. Now we have to see. We have to see if it worked, boys and girls. Let's see if it worked. Obviously blasted back to the 1970s. <laughs> All right, gosh. Now, so how did that feel, Minister Ken? Dying oh my. It was dying no oh my. Now, now, Gus, come up front here. Now that we've sent him back, we've got to bring him back because he's got a lot of important work to do, doesn't he? He thinks so anyway. <laughs> Well, let's come on, Minister Ken, and you look so sharp too. I hate to send you get you back to to the present day, but I know you got a lot of things to do, Minister Ken. So come on, there you go. Look at him, got that seventies walk too. There you go. All right, let's program him back. All right. Now, Gus, you ready to hit the button again? Ready? On three, one, two, three. Let's see. Let's see if we can back, Gus. Oh my goodness! Look at that, Gus! Gus! Let, let, let's sit here and take a picture, Gus. You're gonna make the Royal Gazette tomorrow. <laughs> Summersfield students send Minister back into time. All right, thank you very much, Minister Ken. Excellent, Gus. Give him a round of applause, boys and girls. Good job. Thank you, son. Excellent. So now we know Curtis's time machine works. Now, like I said, Curtis has run out of fuel, so we have to make up a new batch of fuel in order to minister tried it. Curtis has got to try it now. Right, boys and girls? All right. Curtis is going to try it. Now, we have to mix up a new batch of fuel here. So I have a few things here. That I'm gonna mix up. Okay, got that good. They put this in the microwave here. No, that's all right. That's okay, boys and girls. That's all right. Let's see here. All right, now. Let me come over here and make sure this machine is everything checked out here. Boom. What's that? No, no, no. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Now. I am. I'm going to turn it off, boys and girls. Let's see. All right, now, hang on. I got to fuel up the machine now. So I'm going back to fuel up my machine. 
Let's see here. Here's my new batch of fuel. All right. Now it's Curtis's turn. And Curtis needs a little, he needs some fuel too. I have, you guys remember my little cart mouse fish sandwich? Okay. Curtis is going to take that on his journey back in time, okay? Back in the microwave. Here. All right. What's that? I can't hear what they're saying. I can't hear what they're saying. It's a, oh, oh dear. Oh my goodness, boys and girls. Oh my. No, wait a minute. Now, hang on, boys and girls. Look. I'm going to do just like Minister Cares, and I'm going to go back in the past. Because I can't deal with this. I can't deal with it. Let's see here. Let's. This is Curtis's escape plan, boys and girls. You panic. Young Curtis is on the scene and is looking crispy and clean. Now, that's right, I'm in my teens, girl. I heard you say. I wish my weight was in the teens. But that's all good. Now, tell me what happened here, boys and girls. What happened? She don't know. What happened? Yeah. Right. Now, can anybody over this side tell me what happened? Yes. All right. Now, listen up, listen up. Listen up, boys and girls. Don't call me a liar. I'm about to set this kitchen on fire. Right? Now. You see these chemicals? No, no. Somebody take me in Now, boys and girls, I know Earl Curtis probably wouldn't know this, but what is, what is this here? 
Huh? Don't panic. Young Curtis has it under control. Let's see here, look. First of all, boys and girls, if you have a situation like this, pull out the plug. First thing you do is pull out the plug. Here we go. Man, that plug is really in there. Okay. All right. And then, if we're still on fire, boys and girls, what's this again? That's right. That'll wake you up in the morning. We can use our fire extinguisher to put out the fire, okay? Now, boys and girls, here's a very important question. Do we mix chemicals at home? No. No. Who is responsible for using chemicals inside of the house, boys and girls? Your parents. So we don't want to ever do what Curtis is doing right here, do we? No. So if that catches on fire, we spray that out with the extinguisher as well. Right, boys and girls? Okay. Now, what's wrong with this picture? Do we put foil inside of the microwave? No, why not, boys and girls? Exactly. Now, if we make a fire, have we happened to do that? What is the number that we call? Okay, everybody, let's say it on three. Ready? One, two, three. All right. Now, do you think, because young Curtis has to get out of here, do you think we should leave a note for Earl Curtis? Yeah. Do you think we should let Earl Curtis know what happened while he was away? Yeah. yeah? What should we write on that note, boys and girls? Let's, let's write it out. Let's write it out here. What are we writing on there, boys and girls? Dear Curtis, you are a liar. <laughs> you are a liar. 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 You Nine one one. Do we mix chemicals in our house? No. Don't mix chemicals, Curtis. What else did we learn, boys and girls? We also need a what? We need a fire extinguisher. Exactly. Let's write that to Curtis. Fire extinguisher. Okay, was there anything else, boys and girls? Yeah. Don't put foil in the microwave. Exactly. Foil and pull out the plug. Pull the plug. All right. Now, where should we hide this note so Earl Curtis can find it? I thought so too. That's exactly where I was good with it. Why is that? Curtis is always hungry. Okay, now. Young Curtis is out of here, boys and girls, right? So remember, when you, Earl Curtis comes back, you guys have to remind him about these things, okay? Okay? Okay. Let's program in again. I got to get out of here. Okay. See you guys later.
and girls. Curtis is worn out, all that traveling mad of man. Yes. What? So, so tell me what happened? What's that? Microwave. What's this? Who left this here, boys and girls? Young Curtis. Oh, I see. Somebody's gonna have to help me explain this, dude. What does it mean? And what did what does it say? It says nine one one. That's what I see. Nine one one. Does that mean anything to anybody? Is that the number that we call in case of emergency? Okay. And then it says, don't mix chemicals inside the house. Does that mean anything to anybody? Okay. Fire extinguishes the next one on the list. What does that mean? Go ahead. Y yes, you. You see fire, do, do all you boys and girls have fire extinguishers inside your house? No. Oh! Do you guys have fire extinguishers inside your house? No. Okay. If we don't, boys and girls, we need to get one. So tell mommy and daddy that we need a fire extinguisher inside of the house, okay? All right, now what's next? It says foil. Don't put foil in the microwave. Okay, I, little Curtis got to remember that. You'll remember that one. And it says, pull out the plug. What does that mean, boys and girls? Yes. Okay, did everybody hear that? All right, well, boys and girls, you guys have helped little Curtis out today more than you know. Give yourselves a round of applause, boys and girls. Wow. And as you, as you know, you heard this morning, remember the slogan for this year, not every hero wears a cape. You guys have to plan and practice your escape, right? Now, are you guys going to escape like Earl Curtis escaped? No, you can't do that. You have to find how many ways out, boys and girls? Two ways out of your house. So are you guys going to remember that? You're going to remember that? Okay. For being such good boys and girls today, I thought we would end today's show with a song. I know you guys are going to love it. It's hip. It's now, it's today, it gets you moving. You know, Curtis, Earl Curtis likes to, to, to do the boogaloo too, okay? So I figured we would end today's show with a nice 
hit song. Okay? Okay? Oh, man. Let's see. Let's, let's hear this song. that one off no 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 let's cut that one off no no let's let's try one up to date let's let's bring it up to date now boys and girls Curtis is like up to date music let's see here so happy so I want to thank you boys and girls for coming today all right Curtis is gonna go bye bye now bye you guys we're back in the past we're 